Have you ever seen those guys on YouTube with their hobby spaces and their hobby rooms? Oh, I've got so much space to do my hobby. Oh, look at my hobby room. Oh, and then, oh, look at my big massive hobby desk. Oh, I've got so much space. I can do so much work. Oh. And then they don't have to worry about tidying up their desk after they do a bit of work. And then that. they don't have to worry about keep, keeping the kitchen table clean, keeping it clear, get your hobby out of the sitting room. And then you have guys who have their big hobby sheds and lots of area and tons of space. And then they go, oh, let's build a gaming table. Oh, I got tons of space for a gaming table. Well, anyway, I'm building a gaming table for the hobby shed. <laughs> Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here, how is all getting on? So, as you guys know, I am very blessed to have my own hobby shed here. Um, after years of planning and wishing and getting money together, it's finally come true. I've had videos about it for ages and I couldn't be more happier with this shed. But the next thing I want to do for this, the next big thing is to get a gaming table in here. A big 6x4 gaming table. Uh, I can just about fit one in behind me um, as long as it's folded up and put away when it's not in use I, you know, it, it's a 12 by 8 foot shade you know, so space is starting to get a little bit limited now I had two more chairs in over there I had my big guitar amp in here I have this painting desk here so space is starting to get a little bit tight now but if I, I can get a 6x4 table in here as long as it's folded up and put up against the sides when it's not in use um, so I'm going to be getting a sheet of wood. I'm going to be mostly doing a 4x4 size one first and then I'm going to be adding on to that the extra two foot bin. So I have been planning out, I've got a few ideas what the building up first is going to be a fairly lengthy project. I'm in no hurry to really get it done. Once you have a board there, you can play on it. So I'm really wanting this to come out really nice once I'm adding the terrain on. So um, let's have a look at some of the ideas I've written down and let's go over it. So as you can see, I've divided up the table into six different sections just to break it up and figure out what parts I want to go where. Um, I want it to be a fantasy kind of themed table, um, especially towards more time because that's something that I'm starting to get into now. So I'm wanting to build parts that will fit to relevant to Mordheim and to just a normal fantasy Age of Sigmar setting. So uh, grid one, I want like a, it has houses, so I want kind of like a residential area uh, up here, um, and I and I want to build like a town. I don't want to like everything just random. Um, part square two, I'm wanting a church with a graveyard in there. Uh, three and six are going to be the end pieces. They're the ones I want to be the docks. Um, and I've been thinking about how that's going to work. So I'll go over that when I get to it. Uh, then in section five, I want kind of like... Well, section four and five is going to be like a marketplace. With like pubs and other stuff like that. Maybe with some other businesses. But I better get some buildings in there for terrain wise. So it should all pretty much fit in. Um, so the first part I worked on was the docks. Uh, this is going to be section 3 and 6. It's going to be at the end of the table and I wanted this kind of area for boats and you know shipping boats uh, and marina. So you'll have your deck and walk across, two piers coming out and then you'll have your water uh, going through underneath. Uh, but the thing was if I had a table, a flat table like that and I wanted to add water into it, you know I'd have to like add it put some height to the rest of it and then have the water down this way but I didn't want to do that so the closest I come up to it was you're gonna have your table like this then I'm gonna build a wall it's gonna be about two inches high like that and then your pier is gonna come out to here and that's gonna have pillars while well, your decking your kind of marina and all your piers and everything are going to be coming out to here that's going to make up the rest the end part of the table so it's kind of as if the table or the area the town is built about like 10 feet below sea level or something like that and this big wall is kind of separating the water and 
uh, separating the marina area and the town. Uh, like I'll put ladders there and everything so lads can get up. I'll decorate it pretty well to make it look like that. Uh, it is an area that's accessible from here. Uh, that's the closest thing I can up, can come up with. Um, so you won't have this like adding a big high section on. Uh, you could do that, but I think this way is just a little bit easier for me now. So hopefully it will work out when the time comes to doing this. I might have to change it. I don't know. But for now, I think that's the way I'm going to have to go. You'll have your big city, while your town like this, and then the last kind of two feet will be a little bit higher for your docks. Um, then for the church area, right? I wanted. Let's zoom in a little bit. Have a look. I had this kind of designed out so I remember and what parts I want to go here. So in one kind of corner, a good chunk of it, almost a quarter of it, I'm going to have a church area. Whether it's like a room church, uh, like it's destroyed or anything, but that's going to be there. Um, and this is going to be on... This is section 2. So you're going to have an entrance coming up through here. This is your whole entrance part, all along there. And then here you're going to have all your grass with uh, numerous graves, uh, with tombstones and everything. And then here, this is the interesting part I want to put in. Well, you'll have your monument here, so I'll have like a statue that you'll have in like a graveyard or a churchyard or something like that. Um, and here, I came up with this idea of having kind of like a town's saviour burial ground, but it's a giant. So like this giant saved the town or something, and this is where he's buried, or he's a town hero or something like that. And he's going to have a big, huge grave here. Uh, dedicated for him with a big tombstone and everything and I was thinking of like doing something where like his hand is reaching out you know as if he's coming back to life or something like that uh, so hopefully that will all fill up one section you'll have your church your graves the big giant grave and the monument as well and this will be filled up with uh, the garden of more pieces that I have as well so that's sections that's three sections covered the docks takes up two uh, the church is taking up one uh, that's pretty much I've designed for the sections so far and then I come to this part that I just roughly did out um, so you're going to have your residential area like your houses or whatever I'm going to build there houses and buildings then I'm going to have my church then the docks is going to be taking up this much space uh, you have your market I'm going to mesh I'm going to make market and pub into like one big long area so you kind of mix it up a bit and then in the middle if I take these are two foot it's four foot across so if I put each one that's a foot and a half that's a foot and a half that'll leave me a foot in the middle for a big town road that I can work on as well so that's going to be uh, what I'm thinking is like a cobblestone road or a brick road coming through uh, and then you can have your market stalls leading up to that or even stuff on it so you can have like guys walking through and everything that's kind of going to be the open space for it, as well as space on the docks um, and I think that was all I've come up with so far so it's once I broke it down and I had a look at it it is pretty easily if it's, it's pretty easy to do if it's done in chunks uh, if I just like plan out to work on the houses first I can get a bunch of terrain made out of houses I can work on it from there and um, or I can just work on the church I'm just gonna be working on one section at a time unless I'm wanting to uh, practice making some parts for the see the docks is the one that has me thinking the most I have to try and make that right so that's the one that I'll be working on all the time or thinking of ideas to make that work and um, but it's planned out, the church area is planned out. I don't think I need to change any of these for now. I'm pretty happy with it. And the rest of it should come in good time. So I'm hoping that, I was thinking of getting the board today. The board itself is no hurry getting it. As long as I have these pieces ready to go on it, you know. Um, that's the thing. So hopefully I can get most of these done over the next month or two. Really fill up the table and get it looking like a proper town i think the docks is a good idea hopefully i like again i was thinking about getting like a boat or like broken boat pieces um, and putting them in the water here as well so anyway let me know what you guys think of my table my gaming table idea uh the more i come up with, i'm gonna be jotting down in this notebook um, i sat out here, out here for about an hour to figure all this out uh, and I'm happy to have at least three of the squares thought out and just work on the rest of them from then on. Uh, I'm going to be looking at, and you'll probably see in a couple of videos later on, 
you know, like local areas for inspiration down the road from me. You know, there's like a board area so I can get lots of ideas for boats and that, you know, local churches. Um, and then just pretty much just look around at marketplaces and how they're laid out and everything. So, um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, and as I said, it is going to be like more towards a Mordheim, so maybe a lot of these buildings could be like wrecked buildings. That's what they're most likely going to be. Or well, some of them, anyway, at least. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a comment below, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.